What's up guys, today we're recording a session of Medieval Kingdoms Total War Teller, 1212 AD. So this is going to be the first episode of a series that I've planned. So We're going to be playing as the Golden Horde, yeah, the Ullus of Dochi, as you might have guessed by the, by the video being called Mongol Invasion. And... Well, you, you can pause the video and read through all of this, but essentially we are a Mongolic horde from the east, sent by Genghis Khan to conquer the west, essentially. And we've got a modifier called Great Khanate of Tatar Tribes. One arrow alone can be easily broken, but many arrows are indestructible. It's just like Plant of the Apes again. But yeah, it gives us some pretty nice, uh, some pretty nice modifiers over here. Also, that 25% uh, upkeep cost for infantry units will only be will only be kind of broken for late game when we get to Europe, maybe. <laughs> so I th I see only positives here, genuinely. And so the plan for this campaign is to simply. Well, it, it, we will basically con have to conquer the entire world. I just, I actually just realized that, but well, we'll try to. <laughs> so, the objectives for this campaign that I've set is that we first off conquer the Golden Horde, like we form the Golden Horde, and then we maybe go ahead and conquer Rome and Constantinople. Let's just quickly zoom out for this one. So I think that we I think that we should conquer Jerusalem, that we maybe move into Egypt and Arabia, you know, conquer conquer Mecca and Medina. But for the first part, let's just try to unite the steppe tribes and form the Golden Horde. And then we move into Rome and Constantinople. I've also thought about maybe trying to conquer Paris. So like... Yeah, we'll just see where this goes, shan't we? But first off, we start over here, in the Ember Steps of Kazakhstan. With, uh, with our faction leader, Jochi. And uh, s actually, we've got Subute and Jelne with us already. So of course, we'll be going to war with um, with the Cuman Kipchaks, like basically instantly. So let's just move over there already. Destination reached. Warriors all. But yeah, I've I've done a test run of this already, and. This modifier of plus twenty five percent upkeep for infantry units will not will not be really relevant until we get to like Hungary or something like that. So it's gonna be a far way off until then. <sighs> Just to think about all the conquests. By the way, we will in fact be settling down, so like <laughs> yeah, we won't be staying nomadic for really long. Mm, I think with re recruitment wise, maybe we just. Hmm. I don't know, maybe let's get some Onigas over here. Oh, I guess we can just shift some Onigas. But yeah, next turn, <laughs> literally next turn is when we'll be going to war with the. Uh, with the Cumans. Hmm. I think it's. I think it'd be smart to go for the population one first, or. Yeah, other religion penalty will come in later, so first religion. Aristocratic kinship network. Nobility and tribesmen, of course. They're gonna be like our, our main source of manpower after all. And so ends the first turn. God, aren't you excited? <laughs> Get to finally show off that I'm somewhat good at this game. 
But yeah, I really hope that there won't be any performance issues with the recording because I've heard about Tulwatilla especially being very having having some very bad performance issues essentially. And also a little thingy, I won't be fight. I will not be fighting sieges. I hate them. But since this is the first battle, might as well, right? <sighs> first battle of the campaign. <laughs> the grand mega pain, as I also like to call it. That name is badass, though, the Blood Riders. <laughs> This'll better be a bloody battle. I also just realized what an annoying settlement this is to, like, assault. <laughs> oh, well, this is gonna be better than, like, trying to fight against Byzantium later on. At least the people here have wooden walls and not stone walls. So re reinforcements is gonna come from here. Let's assault it from over here then. Holy sh sh mm. That's a lot of horse archers. <laughs> and now to inspect our troops. First of our Onigas. I see these Chinese siege engineers. <laughs> I really like their modeling, by the way. Also, the Mongol horse archers. Nice and authentic. Of course, the lances look pretty much the same, just with some very long sticks. And the Bata Kishigen. By the way, if anyone knows how to properly pronounce it, please please just go ahead and tell me. But I really like their design. Just the armor, it looks so amazing. Same for the Khan's Turgahut. God damn it, this game this game is just really pretty. I do have to say, like the visuals are great. I also think that this game would have been so better, so much better received if it was just, if if they just put some more love into it, you know. But for now, we will just start slaughtering. Uh, just as I zoom in, he stops a speech, of course. But yeah, let's just kind of move in. And not to forget to bring up the no-course. And our general can stay in reserve. I never realized that people go flying like that. I mean, wasn't it like that the Hanuk bow has like the impact of a modern day pistol? Kinda would expect people to go flying like that actually. You can clearly see the AI is kinda panicking right now. They're just running about like headless chickens. I mean, to be fair, you would also be panicking if you just saw, like, like imagine you're one of the guys over here, it's just like this. <laughs> the enemy gates are obliterated. Like, imagine you're just over here and you look out and just a huge Mongol board. Anyways, where am I not course? Let's just soften him up for a little bit. We 
We've not even entered and we've already killed so many of them. And now it's time for some no course. Tell the Trevor Shade to stop. I never understood why the why the uh, why the AI never charges back with their cavalry. It's like they just stand there. <laughs> they always do this for some reason. By the way, if you've any, if you guys have any mod recommendations for me to play, then just go ahead and tell me. If you've got any mods that make the AI any better. Yeah, I think I think that's it for their for for any resistance they could put up. And that's basically all sieges. Their tower has been destroyed. This bodes well. Imagine being one of these guys over here. There's so many arrows being wasted. Surprising how they've survived that. we can just like fast forward a bit yeah. decisive victory 95 losses 797 losses <laughs> average mongol victory really also sorry if I'm coughing a bit today like I'm still kind of sick but yeah that that was an easy fought battle the Cumans start with a pretty big army from what I know, so like, I hope they're gonna actually put up some resistance in the future. And we've settled down. Hoorah. Hmm, what do they have? Cattle herds, slave markets, oval. How about for a... For some muster grounds, yeah, sure. And some. Hmm. I think just a settlement square would be good. They go to Kizikala. And Subate can move south already, I think. Splitting up our forces will totally be a good idea, right? Get some light lances. There we go. Yeah, that's actually good. Okay. First conquest done. Also, I completely forgot to tell Jochi to get married. Again, the IRL Jochi had like 25 kids or something, so we gotta pump those numbers up. We only got three. <laughs> also, for some reason, the. Oh, okay, that's just. That's okay. I'll accept it if it was like this. No, we're going to war. <laughs> but for some reason the Ilkhanate never does well here, honestly, like, they never conquer anything. Oh, well, they do conquer some things, but... Like, they're not really good conquerors, <laughs> they're not good at it, even though they're, like, supposed to be. Ooh, this one might be a bit closer. Oh well. Is there any mercenaries? <laughs> well, some Turkmen lances, I guess. Let's see who's better. 
both are equally ex I guess I'll get the Karakanids then. <laughs> I guess they're gonna be pushing some battering rams, eh? See, I like can Grand Shrine. Yeah, sure. Heaven shall favor us. Can't wait to be ambushed by like 10 human armies or what. Honestly, we're moving through this pretty fast. Trade again with these unbalanced trade agreements. No. Leave, please. I don't like your people. Okay, so. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, they have some people here. Oh, that's their good army. That's the one with the Nogars. I guess a light battering ram would be good. And they can Honestly I think I think we may be we might be able to just crush the the the, the cumans down here already. If they try to sally out that's essentially just a victory. Let's Yeah, let's just try to make them run out of supplies. I think that'll be that's kinda better because I'm gonna need those those boys to conquer Urgench for the Yilkans. I actually want them to win so like but I think some racing fields would be good. <laughs> Holy shit we are actually almost out of money okay I guess no temple some racing fields please. Oh, I see some movements, I see some movements. Can you not spare some of your vast wealth Wait, for us? <laughs> you have enough money, please. Oh, so they've got more strength ranking. Never seen the AI back like that. Well, I actually have, but you know. Right. Uh, yeah, sure. Give blessing. That's a lot of tribal spearmen. Well, let's let's see what lies in store for us here first. Ooh, some cumans. Wait, they don't have a general. <laughs> Sell like a murderer over here or something like that. We're just trying to put as many settlements under siege at one time as possible. Essentially is what we're doing. Whoopsie, went down the wrong path. <laughs> Guess we're just gonna have a governor with extra authority. <laughs> we're just flying past these turns. Ooh, looks like there's gonna be an attack. Oh, they're a big army. Let's see what they have. This is the Novers, Human Light Horse Archers. Yeah, sure, I think we might be able to... Yeah, sure, I think... Uh, I think we might be able to do some shenanigans here. If we strike really quickly, then I think we might be able to kill a lot of them. If not, then, well, we can just pull back. They've got a lot of light... light... Uh, s no, well, I guess also light skirmish calf, but... You know what I'm trying to say, some very light shock cavalry. Also, I'm just sending the Onigas home instantly. <laughs> no chance that they're surviving any of this. Khan will sit up here with 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 my melee calf. Them in the center, some wings. And now we'll just be making two groups of four archers. Well 
again, we've just grabbed the high ground, so like... We are essentially Obi-Wan right now. We've spotted. We're not actually trying to win this battle, by the way. I, I just wanted to say this. We're just trying to do some damage here. Some good old-fashioned hit-and-run. Oh boy, yes. And that's why you don't send light cavalry after some skirmishes. Just doing some faint retreats. I think the Cumans do have better horse archers than we do, honestly. Like they've got uh, they've got Canterbury circle, so like they've got a special ability. We don't. Honestly, I've never used Canterbury circle really that much though. I don't see it being like really, really worth it. Also, they got a little charge in, but I think it's kind of redundant. We might have killed more. Yeah, we killed more of our own men. <laughs> uh, whoopsie. So I've never seen the patch next skirmishes actually. I kind of expected. Well, these guys can go home already. Again, we're not here to like fight to the death. <laughs> We're just here to have some fun. It is amazing how the AI is just falling for this so hard. Again, by the way, this is also a little guide on how to use horse arches. Try to lure your enemies into like a crossfire type situation where you just circle around them. So you hit them from two sides. It, it really does a lot of damage as you can maybe tell by this entire regiment just disappearing. And also, if you're being pursued by cavalry, don't get too focused on looking at the visuals, because it's really easy to just die. And also, setting up ambushes is very smart. And also, another thing I've seen a lot of other YouTubers do is they just kind of set up a line and use cavalry, like infantry, kinda almost. So, like, I don't suggest doing that actually. The smart thing is to just use cavalry like they're mobile. I know it's a very revolutionary thought, but... Oh well. Also, another general rule to cavalry is don't pair up uh, light against medium and mediums against heavies. Unless you just did what I did, which was just surround them, it's uh, not very clever. And also, if you surround them, it's it's not worth the casualties. As you might have just noticed by me losing an entire regiment. Do you guys call it, like, in English, regiments or units? Because I've been calling them regiments this entire time. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Also... Uh, please do switch between your different ammo types. This will actually... This will help you out a lot, let's just say it like that. Enemy units have returned to the battle. But I think we might be ripe for some retreat soon. Yeah, we're just gonna be pulling back now. I think that's some good damage. 
and now to just switch off to normal shot again. That's very dumb of them. But maybe they wanted to catch me out there. I see some opportunities. Actually no, let's 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 not be too ambitious here. Let's just have a good old fashioned retreat. So technically this means that the first real battle was a loss, but I don't really consider this a loss. If we're gonna see it in the casualties right now. Yeah, look at that. For cavalry engagement where they have way more than I had, I think that's um, that's a good trade, honestly. And considering I think I did most of this damage on my own units, that's that's fair. <laughs> that is genuinely fair. So decisive defeat, we killed Oh yeah, we essentially killed their second army. Like like completely. This army is not functional, just just their body. And this army is also slightly damaged. Where the enemies they are. Oh, they just did something strange. <laughs> they only encamped one of their armies. Anyways, how are you doing, Kazulkaya? <laughs> oh my, please. <laughs> we don't have that much anymore. We're gonna run out of, like, cash before anything happens. Good, and now we just lightning strike the humans. This is an all or nothing battle, if you, if you can think about it like that. But yeah, we're just going in. Start deployment. Group them up again. Also, by the way, it's also best if you keep multiple horse archer groups. I mean, you can you can just use them like you know one huge group, but I think that's kind of boring because, like, for for game reasons, like obviously you'd you'd just be moving one block around, and I don't think that's too interesting. But you know what is interesting? Slaughtering these humans. Enemy reinforcements have been spotted. We can never. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the heavy cavalry parked down there. Ambush time! Actually, nah, they've got the, they've got their heavy command over there. Let's let's not ambush them. Or I, I guess at that point it wouldn't be ambushing. Let's just not attack them. Wait, are they charging us with tribes? Tribesmen? Yeah, I don't think that's how that works. Also, another thing you want to do is you just keep in constant motion with everything. And like I'm doing, I'm retreating right now. So what that means is... Their shots, from what I can tell, don't hit me really. 
I also don't really hit them, but that's kind of besides the point. Because what's the point is that I'm now gonna surround the general. Or at least I'm gonna try to surround him. But we're just going in from the front, just straight up. And also kind of from the back at the same time. Of course, kind of bad with the no gas coming in from behind, but like, what can you do really? But I'm in skirmish mode. And look at this again. The, the AI just doesn't even charge back. We're gonna have some heavy casualties here. Or at least I think so. Now we just move down... Yeah, we just move down on these guys. And I think that's GG. I think that's battle one. Let's do some maneuvering. Let's go into the forest. Which is not what you'd normally do when you're playing a horde. <laughs> but like, you know. Exceptions have to be made. Yeah, the AI doesn't really know how to handle horse archers, do they? Feigned retreat, baby. And frontal attack again. You just chase these guys off. Let's 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 line up actually as well to make it a li little bit more predictable for the AI. Yeah, let's just move over here. How many? Oh my lord, that's... You know what, 20 of the heavy com... That's even more, 30, almost. 30 guys of a heavy command is... That can actually just change a small battle like this. Anyways, oh boy, we, our horse art just took some horrendous casualties. Yeah, we're gonna be retreating with this human then. But for now... Let's just say that things are going well. And also you might be seeing the performance issues right now. Again, uh, Total War isn't really known for its optimization, especially Attila. So where are you at? Oh, you're just running. I think uh, I might actually just pull all of these guys out. Okay, wait, let me just redo the groups. You are not a group anymore. You are not a group anymore. You guys are a group. And you guys just uh, run away, I guess. How are you doing? <sighs> Don't run off. <laughs> if only got limited stamina, <laughs> please. I think they're going in for a charge, actually, there. Yep, they were. First wave nope, not anymore. I, at, or at least no counter charge. Have no nowhere to see. We'll kill them all. Victory. Close victory. Yeah, that was. Uh, I was gonna say more balanced casualties, but looking at this, it's. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, sorry about that, guys. I just. Uh, <coughs> I might have hit the wrong button, but anyways, we're back to some gameplay. And. Yeah, ransom. We kind of need it. 
But you know what we also need? More men, probably. <laughs> yeah, we don't have that many more of them. But right now, let's just chase them off and kill them, all of them. Where did we lose any? Ah, we lost the Mongolans. Oh well. This makes us a lot of good money. That one might have not been worth it, because now we're kind of suffering attrition. But let's just go south. Uh, they can, yeah, all resolve. Oh my lord. Loot and occupy. Hey, we've got money again. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Nope. Not, nope to that one. Still can't do that. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how we could earn more money right now. I guess we can disband some some boys. Yeah, the the blood raiders. I I guess uh, let's just merge up some boys. There we go. Merging is just the best thing I've ever discovered in this game. There we go. I'm not gonna merge up the Nokers because I actually want them, so like like I can't replace them. <laughs> I'll I'll disband this one catapult though. Share some morale, that's actually really good. And let's take some hmm. Let's go down the army speed. That's it is necessary. But yeah, I think that's that's a good few first turns already. Again, I think we might be going down to help the Ilkhanat in next episode, but I'm running out of time for the first episode, so thank you guys for watching. It's been fun recording this one actually, and I hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.